Welcome back to the 600cc drag quad build part 2. Now this machine will be capable of going 100 plus, so I have to make sure all my welds are on point. Now I am pretty new to chromoly, but the strength is found in the triangulation and the design of the frame rather than the welds itself. So I'm going to make my front suspension adjustable in height, and that's why I'm using heim joints. It's going to allow for micro adjustments at the track and also adjustments to the ride height. Basically, I'm going to make some baby A-arms and weld the spindles to the A-arms. So guys, I'm figuring out the right height using a cutting edge technology, a 2x4, but yeah, I'm trying to get the caster right and the camera right, and then I'm going to weld everything in and add some turnbuckles so I can adjust the right height, which would be super sweet for like the dunes and whatnot. So to explain what caster is, for those of you that don't know, basically it is the inclination of the spindle. So this is zero, and this would be something extreme like negative 30. According to the forums for dragsters, you want to stick between this amount right here. So what caster does is it helps keep your wheels pointed straight because naturally they just want to tow in. And this is all because of the inclination or the tilt of that spindle. So I hope that makes sense, but let's get back to it. So check this out guys, I got the front suspension figured out and I even added everything on heim joints so I can make micro adjustments at the track to the right height and all that stuff. So it'll be super nice and this thing is looking like a proper machine now. So uh, I did add some triangulation here and now I'm waiting on the machine shop to get uh, the steering stem uh, bushing so I can finish the steering which that's going to be pretty simple. So check this out guys, I have a Crow Molly swing arm here and a shorty axle off a Banshee. The cool thing about having a removable swing arm is going to be that I can tune the length of this thing. So if it pops too many wheelies, I could add a longer swing arm. So that should be really nice. Although uh, most people just actually weld everything solid. I was tempted to do that, but 
this is my first platform and it's going to be nice to have um, kind of everything adjustable so yeah guys I'm going to go ahead and try to figure out how to mount this swing arm well I've been staring at this thing for about an hour now and I am stumped I do not know what I'm going to have to do to pull this off the frame is too wide for the swing arm so I don't know if that makes any sense Alright guys, so this is where my butt's going to be, and I'm thinking about making it pointy. Just give it that extra little bit of personality, but this is going to tie into the bottom of the frame as well. Well, I didn't end up liking that design, so I went back to the drawing boards. Sometimes I need some inspiration, so I head over to Google Images, type in drag quad, and I just check it out. And I get a lot of my inspiration like that, and sometimes I see stuff on Instagram that I like as well. You should totally follow me on Instagram, by the way, at Build. Little sister always coming in handy and helping me hold my parts whenever I need to. But now summer break is over, so she can't really help me out that much. Alright guys, that is so much better. Now what I'm going to work on is getting some triangle... I didn't mean to do that. Okay, but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get some triangulation going like that. And then from there on out, we're gonna mount the swing arm and get this thing in full roller. Guys, I'm super happy with how the rear subframe turned out. It looks really sleek and it looks really cool having it pointed like this. I've mocked up the swing arm here. I've got these slicks mounted and I'm running into an issue. Um, it's not a very big one, but it is, it is an issue. So I just had the chain mocked up and I realized that it is gonna hit the subframe. Um, and especially with this jack shaft so high up, yeah, it's gonna be a problem. So what I could do is I could flip this sprocket hub around the opposite way. Well, it turns out I have the sprocket hub backwards and that was the issue. So after flipping it around, uh, it was the issue was gone. This is my old Yamaha Grizzly steering shaft and I'm cutting the clamp off and I'm going to make this thing much lighter by using 058 wall tubing instead of this stock 120 wall tubing. So yeah, that's how crazy I am about weight savings. So as you can see, I had to weld this first before I can weld the clamp on and that way we get a good strong weld. So check this out guys, the welds on this shaft came out super nice. I mean, this is literally razor thin tubing. So now we're gonna mount the steering shaft about yay high and we're gonna build a hoop so that it can hold the steering shaft at the right angle. This JD Square tubing notcher is amazing, especially with the swag off-road add-ons and upgrades. Definitely need swag off-road upgrades on everything now. So I got the hoop welded and these notches were pretty hard to pull off but I got them perfect. 
check that out guys they came out so perfect and I'm just super happy with how this thing is coming out. So now we mount the steering shaft about right there and then we can connect it to that steering bearing right there. what a freaking beautiful machine I'm so happy with how this thing is turning out as you can see I got the steering figured out and it came out so nice so I do have to add a second brace right here to keep it from wobbling but as you can see man the steering works so yeah in the next episode I'm gonna add some more triangulation finalize the steering mount the rear swing arm and just do a whole bunch of other stuff and possibly get it running in the next episode so stay tuned um, I'm thinking I'm just going to use like a Banshee radiator to kind of keep with the whole theme of this half Banshee hybrid quad. And yeah guys, I think it's going to be so awesome. Now for the pipes, I might have to go up to Michigan and have them custom made for me. I'm not sure yet, but we'll just see on that. Now this video was sponsored by my wallet. So this is a pretty expensive build, so I'd appreciate if you guys could check out the merch down below. Check out the links, uh, help support the channel. And uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this episode, subscribe if you're new, and as always, I'll have to catch you guys in the next episode. Stay tuned, peace and God bless.